knowing the systems, how NEMO operates, we look at an overall picture. A system can shift any time. So we prefer to the whole country to be prepared than to be sorry. Each district coordinator and each committee identifies their um, flood prone areas within their communities, their districts, and those are the villages or the low lying areas, example the city, Simon Wo exactly um, in Lake High or wherever. Or in street. Um, we look at people who would, if necessary, we'd have to go and help them. In the districts, it's the same thing. In River Valley, I could call on the coordinator out there. Actually, they're already sending their reports with, with each um, low-lying area and which um, area is um, prone to flooding. Not, even, um, not only that, what they did today, during the day, they contact all their river monitors. We have river monitors throughout the whole country. They contacted them, let them know that this is happening, and they will be communicating with them throughout the night or the weekend, if needs be, if the rain um, continues. To the areas of the city that are flood prone, <laughs> Belama phase three and four, definitely. We have uh, the Kruman Lagoon area uh, behind Lake Independence. We have the Gungulung area very um, flood, um, flood prone, what am I saying? And uh, Genosha, the Genosha Boulevard area. They always get, and Farber's Road, certain parts of Farber's Road extension. And, and, that, and that's- Antelope Street extension. Right, Antelope Street extension, true. And we, what we are doing is just to, we're not here to frighten anybody or to get you all jittery or something like that. We are just here to advise you, just listen to the different advisories that we'll be getting through the media. Be keen, be ready to move if your area becomes flooded, your, your yard, your house. So just get ready, that's what we're asking.